how to stretch elements and graphics in Canva. Let's jump on in. First of all, go to the Elements tab in the left sidebar and then choose the element or graphic that you would like to stretch. Now when you left click on the graphic, with the use of these circular handles right here, we can actually make the graphic bigger or smaller. But whenever we do that, the graphic is always going to stay in proportion. So there's actually no way for us to stretch it like this. So how can we actually stretch it then? Well, the truth is that this requires some kind of workaround. Here's how we do it. I'm first going to show you how to do this as a Canva free user. And then for those of you guys who actually have Canva Pro, I'm also going to show you how to get it done. So with that said, if you're using the free plan of Canva, here's what you need to do. First of all, click on share in the upper right corner of the screen. Then click on download. Make sure that the file type is set to PNG. And on the select pages here, also make sure that the correct page is selected. In our case, we would like to have page one only. So I will simply click here and then make sure that only page one here is selected. And then we click on download. Once the graphic or element is downloaded, we will actually need to remove the background. And as a Canva free user, you can actually not do this for free directly within Canva. So we quickly have to go to an external website to get this job done. But don't worry, it's gonna be very quick, free, and also no registration will be necessary at all. So please head over to this website right here. I will leave a link for you in the description of this video. Then once you're here, click on choose file, and then upload the element or graphic that you just downloaded. In our case, it's this graphic right here. And as you can see, it still has this white background right here. And we need to get rid of this background in order to stretch our element right here. So locate the file on your computer and then click on open. After that, click on upload. Once your graphic is uploaded, we're going to select white right here because our graphic is actually on a white background. And once we've done that, when we scroll down, we can simply click here on submit. And just like that, the background of this graphic has been removed completely for free and no registration or anything was necessary. So pretty easy, right? Now all that is left for you to do on this website is to actually click here on where it says save. This will save our element or graphic without any background on our computer. So once you've done that, go back to Canva and then make sure to upload your new file without background to Canva. You can either do that by going to uploads here in the left sidebar and then click on upload files here on top or you can also drag and drop your file directly here onto Canva. And that's what I'm gonna do in my case right here. So I just minimize the window right here and then I just drag and drop our new file here right onto Canva just like this and it is then automatically uploaded to Canva. So now from our upload section I will simply drag and drop it onto our canvas. And now while our element actually looks exactly the same as before, there is one very important difference with it now. And that is when you left click on it, on top you will then actually see edit photo. And usually for Canva elements and graphics, this is not going to be the case. And this is really key for us because only when you have that, you can actually stretch an element or graphic in Canva. And that is why we had to perform all these steps to make sure that this element is actually recognized as a photo rather than simply an element or graphic. Just to quickly show you when we make this smaller here and go to elements and then add the element from there, it indeed looks exactly the same, but when we left click on it, you will see that on top you only see edit image, but you don't see edit photo as is the case with this one here. So there's definitely a difference right there. Now with that said, let us get rid of this one right here. And to stretch our element now, here's how it's done. First of all, let me just put the element once again a little bit more here on the left side. And after we've done that to stretch it, double click on your element and this will get you into crop mode. Now very important, press and hold shift on your keyboard and then hover over one of the edges here until you see this double arrow symbol and only then drag. After that also make sure to extend the crop area so that the whole image is still going to be visible. Finally click on done in the lower left corner of the screen. And this is how you stretch an element or graphic on Canva free. Now, if you're on Canva Pro, to stretch an element or graphic in Canva actually works in almost the same way. So as a Canva Pro user, let me quickly show you how it's done. First of all, you go to elements and then you click on the element that you would like to stretch. Next, in the upper right corner of the screen, click on share, then click on download. Make sure that the file type is set to PNG right here. Then take the option transparent background and next click on download. Once your file is downloaded, re-upload it to Canva. 
Then from the upload section, insert your element that now has no more background. And on top of that, and even more importantly, this element will now be considered as a photo by Canva. Now to stretch the graphic, double click on it, and you will get into crop mode. Next, press and hold shift on your keyboard, and then hover over one of the edges, until you see this double arrow icon. And then simply drag to stretch the graphic. Finally, make sure to extend the crop area. And then click on done in the lower left corner of the screen. And that's it, we have successfully stretched our cat graphic. And this is how you stretch elements and graphics in Canva. But what about stretching Canva photos and pictures? How can you do that? If you want to know, make sure to watch the next video on this channel.